Hello viewers once again, uh, Mr. Mongi welcoming you to Elimu TV, uh, the TV station which you watch and experience. This is lesson two, uh, Introduction to Chemistry, uh, where we are looking at uh, Introduction to Structure of an Atom, sorry. Basically now we are going to advance, we have defined what is an atom, we have reminded ourselves of what is an atom and the structure uh, of an atom, the composition of an atom, the protons, neutrons and uh, electrons and their properties. And uh, now we are going to look at the following objectives in this lesson. Please do pay attention and follow the lesson through. So what are the objectives of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, you will achieve the following. One, you will distinguish between atomic number and mass number of a given atom or element. You will be able to define what is an isotope and you will also now be able to list down elements which have isotopes. So, a quick review to the structure of an atom. Structure of an atom, an atom itself has got the protons, uh, neutrons and electrons. Uh, the charge is illustrated as shown there. Protons positively charged, neutrons no charge, and electrons are negatively charged. Uh, where do we find them? Uh, protons and neutrons found within the nucleus of an atom. Electrons revolve within the region that surrounds the nucleus, which we refer to as energy level. So we may have the first energy level. Uh, and the second energy level as illustrated. So from the nucleus, we number them, the energy levels, we number them from the nucleus. So what is atomic number of an element? Uh, let's consider the following. Hydrogen atom has got one proton, therefore has got, it has one electron. One proton, one electron, that is hydrogen. And it has no neutron. What about uh, helium? Atomic number two has got two protons and has two electrons and has two neutrons. So what is atomic number? What do we refer to as atomic number? So atomic number of, uh, uh, the atomic number is the number of protons. And uh, the number of protons is equivalent to the number of electrons. So atoms are electrically neutral. Why? Because the number of protons, positive charges, is equivalent to the number of electrons, negatively charges, uh, charged particles. Therefore, equal charges neutralize one another. And that's why an atom is said to be electrically neutral. Within the nucleus, the ratio of protons and neutrons is one to one for a stable atom is this if this is not adhered to that atom is said to be not stable but we refer to that when we are looking at uh, a nuclear composition and changes in radioactivity so once again hydrogen has one proton one electron helium has got two protons uh, two neutrons and two electrons but basically we have defined atomic number as the number of protons within the nucleus of an atom. Proceeding to the next element, rhythm, atomic number three. Why is it atomic number three? It has got three protons. Within the nucleus, it has three protons, hence the, 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 the atomic number three. It has got three neutrons which we are going to refer to when we are referring to mass number. And since the number of protons is equivalent to the number of uh, electrons, rhythm has got three electrons. One, two, three. Okay, so what is atomic number? Number of protons in the nucleus of a given atom. If an atom has one proton, one atomic number, one. If it has two protons, Atomic number, two. If it has three protons, atomic number, three. Not four, sorry. If it has ten protons, what is the atomic number? You can give us the answer there. So elements are arranged in terms of the atomic number in the periodic table. Okay, mass number. What is mass number? Can we consider the following? For instance, within the nucleus, we have neutrons. 
we also have protons and neutrons plus protons since they have mass since they have mass these will result to a composition of the nucleus in where in which we have both protons and neutrons uh, so what is mass number we have only referred to the subatomic particles which have mass so we have neutrons and protons so the sum that is number of neutrons plus number of protons is equal to the mass number of that atom so we can have the following equation mass number is given by the number of protons plus the number of protons that gives us mass number so but again you realize that atoms have got specific atomic number but they will also have a different mass number what is the result or what causes a difference in mass number mass number is as a result of uh, the number of neutrons as you can see this is hydrogen hydrogen has got one proton in the nucleus and the number of protons is equivalent to the number of electrons so all through three these uh, all through these three diagrams you can see that we have three uh, each of them having one proton the second atom has got one proton the third atom has got one proton therefore they have the same number of protons uh, one proton therefore they refer to the same atomic number which is hydrogen but when we come to structure number two we have this atom of hydrogen having a neutron and therefore the mass will therefore be one plus one which is two uh, in the third diagram we have one proton but we have two neutrons therefore the mass number becomes one plus one plus one so we have atoms of the same element having the same atomic number but different mass number so that is what we refer to as isotope atoms with the same atomic number but different mass number what makes them to have different mass number difference in the number of neutrons so other elements that have isotopes include carbon we have carbon 12 13 and 14 we also have uh, oxygen has got isotopes and the mass number is indicated there so maybe now we can be able to see whether we have uh, what it takes to uh, understand this lesson so did we understand by uh, the lesson or the goals objectives number one we can do so by answering the following question w define the terms atomic number mass number and isotope and please try to explain why atoms are said to be electrically neutral you can refer to this book students chemistry book too and you can as well as reach us through our contact which is uh, the number on your screen as well as you can visit our facebook page and youtube at elimu tv and you can give us a tweet at elimu tv underscore ke your tutor mr mangi francis stay tuned for more lessons